these characters have stood the test of time. And we thought about why that was, and we came to the conclusion of these guys just make people feel happy. Right? Yeah, we really wanted to make a movie about happiness. You know, where does it come from? Uh, what happens when you lose it? So I think that was at the basis of it. Is like, how do we make a movie about happiness, yeah. and how do we create happiness in the viewer? And so we used um, that theme of happiness uh, inform the character design and inform the colors that we use in the movie and inform the music, of course. Um, happiness is how it all started. <laughs> it all started with happiness. <laughs> Well, the trolls are the happiest creatures in all the land. They sing songs about singing. They hug every hour <laughs> on the hour. In fact, they have little hug time watches yes. that uh, every hour they bloom. Bloom, and hug time. Here oh, goes. Are we gonna do hug. it? Oh, oh, oh make it nice. That feels good. There you go. Branch is always saying, with all their celebrating and all their singing and all their dancing, a Bergen is gonna hear them discover where they're hiding in the forest, and troll will be back on the menu. And he's convinced this is going to happen. Well, lo and behold, he was right. They yeah. throw the biggest, craziest party they've had in 20 years, and a Bergen shows up. Ironically, it's a party celebrating 20 years of freedom <laughs> yeah. from not being eaten by a Bergen. Yeah. But anyway, a so Bergen shows up. Bergen shows up and kidnaps 11 of Poppy's best friends. What's great about Poppy is that she's not the traditional princess. She's the, you know, her dad is the king of all the trolls, and she's not the kind of princess you would normally meet. She's barefoot. Yeah, bare. She doesn't have to wear uncomfortable <laughs> shoes. She doesn't have shoes. She's, she's really quirky. She's, she's got this funky. edge to her. Yeah. I mean, she loves to sing and dance, but with aggression. She's got loads of energy. She's a little off. Bridget, Bridget. is a favorite character of ours. Our personal. Yeah, favorite. we really we dig Bridget, and she is she's our Cinderella. She's a scullery maid mm -hmm. that lives uh, lives in the basement of the yeah. castle. She's scrubbing dishes all the time. Yeah, cleaning the floors. Everyone ignores her. She's very alone and isolated, but, but she's pure, pure of heart. Pure of heart. Well, unlike other Bergens, she has hope that there is happiness, and that's mm -hmm. that's not that's makes her different than all the other Bergens. So mm -hmm. even though she's got this. Uh, this uh, demeaning gig in the basement of a castle. <laughs> yeah. She really has hope that this. Well, she has an unrequited love for Prince Grissel. You know, been in love with him since she was a kid, and she creates these elaborate kind of collages to him. And she's also an incredible singer that no one ever hears because she only sings quietly yeah. to herself. It's very private. Justin Timberlake. This guy, he knows how to sing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> And um, just decided to make the song that he did for our film, decided to make it into a hit as well, which was a bonus <laughs> yeah. for me. This is a true story, by the yeah. way. When we're talking, when we're launching him on this is what the song needs to do, it's got to change a whole world view of, of a, you know, the Bergen. <laughs> yeah, an entire race of people has yeah. to change how they look at the world. Right. And so, and so this is what the song should do, and it's the end. It's got to have energy and blah, 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 blah. So he's like, okay, good, good. I'm on it. It was him and Max Martin. And he goes, and while we're at it, we'll, we'll just make sure it's a hit song as well. <laughs> I laughed. I thought that was like a joke. Yeah, and I was like, he okay. Yeah. <laughs> then it becomes a hit song. Yeah. So I guess that's what he does for a living. He makes hit songs. <laughs> so anyway, good singer. <laughs> really funny guy, yeah. super charming, brought a lot to the character and, and just just a joy to work with. Brought, brought, it just infused a whole energy to the production we when he came aboard. Yeah, we thought it would be, be great to cast Justin as this troll who who doesn't sing and he doesn't dance because we all know him as the most incredible dancer, most yeah. incredible singer. So this this tension that it creates for the audience and they're just waiting, like, when is he going to sing and dance? You know, So it's really this euphoric feeling when he finally allows himself to do this thing. I really, I'm very hopeful that people leave the theater just with a huge smile on their face. Yeah, and also, you know, the movie is about happiness, and it's about creating a conversation about happiness, and that we each have it in us. You know, we all are born with this capability of having happiness, and we want to hopefully kind of encourage that conversation.